Hello dear friends, this is a case of a 55 year old female patient who presented with severe right iliac fossa pain and high inflammatory markers, fever and the query was appendicitis. So I will show you a typical case of a complicated appendicitis. First of all, we have to try to identify the appendix. So here is the appendix. I will scroll upwards and we will see its tip stops here. Where is the arrow? And let's scroll down now. Here is the appendix rounded by fat stranding. And there is extra luminal gas here. Additionally, there is an appendicolis here. Let's go down to see the base of the appendix. And there is another obstructing appendicolis right here. So here is the, the area of the sacrum. Okay, let's scroll the images up again, little by little. By the way, there is a reactive lymph node in this region. Here is the uh, base of the appendix with the obstructing appendicolis. Probably this is the cause of the appendicitis. Let's scroll up again. Here is the appendix. Another appendicolis here. Here is the perforation. The free gas, which is limited in this region. But uh, I found another gas bubble just here. It's very useful to use the uh, pulmonary uh, window settings to identify free gas in the abdomen. This is a tiny free gas. Sometimes it's easier to identify the appendix and to rule out appendicitis in coronal views. So here's the appendicolis in the base of the appendix. Here is the appendix. Here is the site of the perforation with the free extraluminal gas. The appendix goes up here and there is a small angulation at this point here. There is uh, some reactive fluid near the tip of the right lobe of the liver and the free gas at this point here. The uh, pulmonary window settings is visualized, identified much more easier. Let's have a last look again. Here is the appendicolis at the base. The appendix goes up. Here it is. There is a small angulation at this point. Fat standing in the area. Dear friends, thank you for watching. See you next time.